thing here. What time is that? Well, looks like David Zaslav's hammer is finally coming down in DC Comics. Only a matter of time, really, considering how bad these comics have been uh, recently, uh, over the last recent years. Um, David Zaslav targets DC Comics. Failures exposed. Warner Brothers Discovery Accounting is said to be taking a hard look at DC Comics. Uh, it's about time. Uh, before I get into the details of it, please subscribe if you haven't already done so. It really does help us go the channel, and I appreciate every single one of you. Let's see. In addition to the film and TV division, now Warner Brothers Discovery and David Zaslav have their sights set on the failing DC Comics division. As I have been reporting on for years, DC Comics has been in dire straits due to its SJW and woke agenda where the company doesn't care about the fans, doesn't care about the characters, doesn't care about quality content, and doesn't care about making money, much like Marvel Comics. This last paragraph I just read right now just pretty much sums up everything wrong with DC Comics, Marvel Comics, in, in general, mainstream comics. Uh, it's exactly right. Um, people that they have um, working on these comics, they're not writers, they're not uh, really good artists, or they're not creators, they're just um, activists who just want to inject their political ideology in it, into their comics. Um, it's not entertainment. Uh, they're, just, uh, they're just obsessed with... Uh, just race swapping. They're obsessed with the character's sexuality as opposed to their um, inner qualities, and it's just they're not they're not story they're not comic stories. They're just they're not stories at all. They're just uh, just just political preaching, to, and and no one no no one who reads comics or has been reading comics uh, cares about any of this. So obviously they're not selling. Well, with the new merger, it's all coming to a head for Jim Lee and Marie Javins, as it is reported. The accounting offices of Warner Brothers Discovery has been taking a hard look at the books of DC Comics, where things are so bad that only Batman sells, as last month saw over half the comics published not making the top 100 list of sales, which it's uh, uh, there, there's the proof, all of it. I mean, they've uh, historically, DC Comics has had a lot of titles in the top 100 list of sales, but now it's like, oh, the, like it says, all the only thing that sells is Batman. It's also no coincidence that at Comic-Con and following that DC Comics has made big announcements, which includes Todd McFarlane and Greg, Greg, Greg Capullo on a Spawn Batman crossover. Jeff Johns is involved with the new golden age of DC Comics and Justice Society of America, right in time for Dwayne Johnson's Black Adam, who I've been told wants to take over DC Films and Stargirl. The November solicits also saw reveals inv involving Mark Silvestri on Batman and the Joker, a relaunch of Wildcats and Wildstorm, the return of Superman, and more. I've also been told in the works include some sort of Stan Lee take on DC characters. Yeah, so now all of a sudden they're scrambling, trying to make these splash, uh, you know, announcements, uh, tr trying to bring back established uh, creators like Jeff Johns and, and Greg Capullo, Todd McFarlane, uh, to, to make some sort of impression that they are that they do care about the the comics that they do want to put quality content out and uh, you know uh, which which they could, couldn't care less of up till now but now that that they saw what was coming they're trying to make the impression that they they really do want to put some quality entertainment out. I think it's just going to be way too late because uh, they're they're going to look at how they they're going they're just basically going to look at the numbers and how they've been doing and it's 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 going to show a total failure. YouTuber Thinking Critical reveals what is happening is that David Zaslav and Warner Brothers Discovery are getting to DC Comics a lot faster than most people thought they would, which explains why all the recent big announcements. I'm not sure why they were sitting back thinking that he wasn't going to take a look at it. I mean, obviously, that division, the DC Comics, has been uh, non-profitable um, for a long time, so why, why would they think he would wait? A source for the YouTuber reportedly works in the accounting field that has has sources at the accounting departments of both Disney and Warner Brothers. It said the accounting division of Warner Brothers Discovery is questioning DC Comics on why they aren't making money, and they want to be told exactly what the state of DC Comics is, which is said to have already happened as Warner Brothers Discovery Accounting requested management reports from Warner Brothers for all print DC Comics of all formats, allocating total overhead for each book title to see which are winners and losers. 
Things are tanking across the board due to bad management, terrible editorial, and just some of the worst creative decisions we've seen in the history of DC Comics, said the YouTuber. Warner Brothers Accounting is said to have told Warner Brothers Discovery Accounting that they have 30 years worth of data that they can provide, so Discovery sent someone over within an hour to pick up the data, which has exposed all the DC failures as the company hasn't been profitable, which is something um, myself, who's been reading comics for like four decades now, other YouTubers uh, who are comic book uh, readers, actual uh, you know people who actually read comics, have been telling you know, they, they've been we, we've all been saying it how how horrible this has been, uh, and now it lo looks like it's come to a head as they look at the accounting of it. It said the next day following receiving the reports, the Warner Brothers Discovery Accounting Offices started asking questions. Who have the manage who have these management reports been sent to? Obviously no one. Uh, why are loser titles being kept on print and extended? Really great question that uh, I myself have been asking for, for quite a few years. How can we double check who authorized all these decisions? Do you know of any common sense reason for purposely losing money on DC flop floppies and so on? Yeah, what what kind of reason would you have for purposely losing money? Obviously, you are not putting out uh, actual entertaining stories. You're just putting out, uh, you know, activism, which doesn't sell. Much like former Green Lantern artist Ethan Van Skyver has suggested, the YouTuber suggests Jim Lee's days as an executive are over at DC Comics, but that Lee stay mill. Lee may still may remain on board creatively doing various art chores. They want to know who made these decisions when these things were failing. Who decided to keep them failing and continue on in current direction? Why did you hire all these unfit creators that drove your fan base away? Most importantly of all, why are you purposely losing money on your products that, that you are selling? States the YouTuber about the accounting offices of Discovery questioning DC Comics. Yeah, really good questions that um, we've been we've been asking on this channel. Um, other YouTubers like Nerdrotic and As from Heels versus Babyface, uh, Geeks and Gamers, Eric July. We've all been asking these questions. Uh, I think you know the most important one: Why did you hire all these unfit creators that drove your fan base away? People who do not know how to write stories. They don't know how to draw. They um, they just want to inject their their political ideologies into these, and um, no, nobody's reading these. The hammer is about to drop on DC Comics. Regarding the future of DC Comics, again, much Van Skyver that YouTubers suggest DC Comics will feature mostly Batman titles, a Superman title or two, Justice League, and then not much else. As Jim Lee and Marie Javins and their incompetence I've only shown Batman to be successful while everything else is toxic. And Batman's successful because it's Batman. Uh, he, he's he's su succeeding. He's still selling uh, despite the incompetence uh, of, of them running this. The Day of Reckoning is here for DC Comics and their management staff. In my opinion, and in the opinion of a lot of DC fans, DC Comics fans, this right now, the here and now, is the worst era in the history of DC Comics as far as quality publishing Quality creative, it's all terrible across the board, said, said the YouTuber. Yeah, I hate to admit it that, yeah, this is the worst era of DC Comics. I've been reading comics for four decades now, and this is the worst I've ever seen um, to the point where I, I can't I can't pick up uh, any... I, I've, been, I've been still picking up Batman here and there uh, because somehow some, some still slips through um, that that's actually a semblance of a story, but any other the titles, I, I can't see myself uh, reading any of that garbage. Um, and, and I hope that what's happening here will write the ship. It'll probably be, like like Van Skyver said, maybe minimizing it to half a dozen or you know maybe 10 titles, uh, mostly Batman-centric and Superman, Wonder Woman. Uh, but at least if, if, if it does, uh, if there's something major going, uh, if there's a major shakeup, I'm hoping that the um, the result, at least, will be some uh, good quality stories coming soon um, while I still have a chance to read them. And uh, then on, on top of all these, you know, the DC Comics, as I'm looking at DC Comics and everything else with Warner Brothers, you, we, we're starting to see things like this. Animation fans unhappy with recent cancellations. Accused Warner Brothers Discovery CEO David Zaslav of being a racist Trump supporter. 
and calls for his firing. Uh, this is obviously um, connected with uh, his other cancellations, recent cancellations with the animation animated series, uh, including the the. the what was going to be a Batman anim animated, which uh, Keith covered here recently. We also see this. Now former HBO Max execs claim David Zaslav plans to move Warner Brothers Discovery away from producing divisive left-wing content. There was just a massive, we don't need you. You're not offering the things we're focused on. Well, exactly. I mean, that says it all. If you're not going to produce quality uh, entertainment that the customers want, why would they want you doing that? Why would they want you doing uh, something else, some some sort of activism, if some something that's not entertainment? Because the customers are not going to buy it, and it's bad for business. This is what what David Zaslav is doing with this is 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 business. It's nothing to do. It's not a political decision. Um, he it's it's not about racism. It's basically how you run a business. You go through each division. And you see what what's non profitable, and then you you get rid of that, um, and then you just you just keep the profitable profitable parts, and that's all. Um, if they want the company to survive and thrive, this is what he needs to do. It's not nothing to do with political. Uh, as a matter of fact, he's you can look it up. He's actually a Democrat. He's liberal, and he has been he has given um, donations to uh, Democratic uh, candidates. So it's nothing to do with being political. Nothing to do with like. You know, racism or anything like that. He just he's just going through each department. Whatever is not um, is not going to be good for the future. Not going to be good for the company. He's getting rid of it, and that's how that's how you run a business. Okay, that's it for me. Uh, please leave a comment on what you think about all this, and um, thank you for watching. I'll talk to you soon. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up below. Also, please subscribe to Geek Time TV. It really helps us grow the channel. And make sure you hit that bell icon in order to receive notifications every time we drop new content here. You can also check us out on social media on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at GeekTimeNet. Thanks again for watching. We will see you soon. Hey kids, what time is it?